And in this video, we are going to discuss about how to find the first five terms of a sequence given the n term. What is an n term? The n term is a formula with n in it which enables you to find any term of a sequence without having to go up from one term to the next. Examples of an n term a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. A sub n is equal to n plus 7. A sub n is equal to 5n minus 1. So this n term will help you look for, let's say, the 8th term, the 7th term, or the 10th term without going from the 1st term to the 2nd term or to the 3rd term. Let us consider a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. Our problem says, use a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2 to look for the first 5 terms. When we say first 5 terms, we're referring to a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Let's look first for the first term. So if you notice, the formula earlier is a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. Since we are looking for the first term, yung n natin na nandito kanina will be replaced by 1. And then this value, the value of 1 here, yun naman ang ipapalit natin dito sa ating n. So let's solve. a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 2. So, kung, saan, kung nagtataka kung saan galing yung 1 dito, dito siya galing. Okay, so let's solve. Continue natin. 3 times 1, that will give us 3 plus 2. And then add 3 plus 2, that will give us 5. So, our first term in the sequence is equal to 5. Punta tayo sa a sub 2, or the second term. So, the formula that we're going to use is a sub n is equal to 3n plus 2. So, notice na yung n natin dito ay 2 na. So, the value of our n here will be replaced by 2 later dun sa ating solution. So, a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 2. Again, saan ang galing yung 2 na nandito? Dito siya galing. Okay, so, then, let's continue. So, 3 times 2, that will give us 6. 6 plus 2 will give us 8. So, our a sub 2 in the sequence is equal to B. Let's solve for a sub 3. So, so third term natin, value of our n is equal to 3. So, that means yung n nyo will be replaced by 3. So, saan to nang ulit nang galing? Dito siya sa a sub 3. The value of our n. So, 3 times 3, that will give us 9, plus 2 will give us 11. So, that means our third term is equal to 11. Punta na tayo sa fourth term. So, our fourth term is, uh, the formula for our fourth term is a sub 4 equal to 3n plus 2. So, since we are looking for the fourth term, a sub 4 nyo, your n will be replaced by 4. So, that will be 3 times 4 plus 2. Multiply 3 and 4, that will give us 12. And then 12 plus 2 will give us 14. So the fourth term in the sequence is 14. A sub 5 is equal to 3n plus 2 is the formula for the fifth term. So yung ating 5 dito, which is our n, yun ang gagamitin ng ating value ng n dito sa formula. That will give us a sub 5 is equal to 3 times 5 plus 2. So, if multiply muna natin yung 3 and 5, that will give us 15 plus 2 will give us 17. So, yung ating fifth term is 17. Now, to answer yung problem natin earlier, using the general term a sub n is equal to 3 n plus 2, the first five terms are... 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede naman ulitin panoorin. And don't forget to practice.